because it does because nursery fees yeah. i remember when my daughter was oh, in it's nursery, ridiculous. what 1200 pounds a month i'm paying for mm-hmm, nursery mm-hmm. and i'm not discrediting the industry and the work that they put in no. i know how hard it is to raise a child and to be with them and stimulate them mm-hmm. but it's a total rip-off and for me sometimes i think i should just go on benefits because yeah. i don't feel like i'm any better off where i am working if i'm brutally honest i can, can claim nothing let me just say nothing. something yeah let me just share something right now. I had my baby girl, mm. 27. I was doing really well, mm. yeah? And then I thought, I've always wanted to go uni, yeah? yeah? Always wanted to get a degree. But I just didn't want to eat out no bean can. Um, <laughs> no beans can, yeah. yeah? So I was just like, I'm not going uni. Because that was the image that you was given, <laughs> that you had yeah. to eat beans. And it was like low-level living. I was cooking down, don't worry Listen, about the beans. <laughs> right. So it's all changed now. Yeah. Uni's like a vibe. You get money. Like, yeah. it's all different. You see it different yeah. now. But being 27, being um, a first-time mom, mm. it was like, wow. Like, I've just always been a busybody. Guess what I did? I signed up for uni. Because at the time she was born, there was news that it was going from three grand to, I think, nine grand a right. year. So I was just like, listen, no one ain't trying to play no nine grand yeah. a year just for the sake of waiting an extra year. Yeah, yeah. I made it work. Well, how old was she? She was two months when I signed up. Made it work. Got it done. And I was like, the best thing about this, when I'm done, she'll be free. What did you do degree in? Um, accounting and finance. Wow. Yeah. So when people are looking at you now, and that's another thing, who is she to tell me mm-hmm. about money? You've yeah. got degrees, you've got papers. Uh, yeah, I've got, do you know what I mean? I've got the papers. They want to know this. They want to know who. And also they yeah. want to know what kind of house you're living in and what kind of car you drive. Do you know what? I'm keeping it real. It ain't nowhere near where I want to be. And it definitely ain't nowhere near where i should have been why because of life yeah yeah and children. life happens <laughs> right and children so the reason why i brought that up is because when i had my daughter um it was like okay what do we do now because i'm not really someone to sit down mm. so i went to uni and then i just made the finances work to find out a really good friend of mine turned around and said to me i don't even know how you do it how you stay looking like how you stay looking <laughs> i'm like because i know how to like move like mm. i know how to just flex and, and you know like, i watch them um programs about food and budgeting and stuff like that yeah. um i'll be honest when i've um, been around wealthy people they don't actually spend that much money on food all the time yeah. so they might buy high quality food mm. but they don't necessarily go and buy a lot of items so there's not a lot of waste yes. um that's another thing our fridge i've got this yeah. thing about my fridge being it's got to be packed right it's got to be yeah packed. what's that about yeah. i don't that's feel a good. totally bad habit it's a really bad habit yeah. might see my freezer door i've got to all nudge it <laughs> like <laughs> And then sometimes I come and it's got your frostbite because no it didn't close good. No, babe. I don't still know wrong. why. My fr- if I don't have a full fridge... It should only be f- um, full with the freezer you know because American of poultry. I've got the um, big... You should um, just be going to buy loads of poultry. Other than that... I don't understand. What is this about? What mentality have I got again, that makes got me understand. feel like I've got money I'll tell you what fridge. it is. So when you look back in history... What did we have? We had food. We had breaking bread with each other, didn't we? Mm. And now, even to today, we still pride ourselves in doing a spread. Yeah, we love it. We love it, yeah? (laughs) And we don't hold back on the funds for it. Nothing like that. That is literally our pride and joy. Yeah. Yeah, the bigger the table, (laughs) the better. See Christmas, Yeah. waste. Exactly. Waste. Right? When you look at our white counterparts, the spread isn't the same. Yeah. Yet they're still satisfied. Mm. Yet they still have fun. I'm not saying that it's a bad thing because I love putting on a spread. Mm. Yeah. But it's about just looking at your money management a little bit uh, wiser and looking at better ways you can do things. Because remember, we as um, black people have always saved for the short term. Yeah. We've always done a partner. Why? Because we specifically want to do something. We never (laughs) any any time did a partner just, just because we're doing a partner. Why are we doing partners anyway? Because to be fair, there's no yeah. interest in a partner. I don't no. understand. Where did that come from? Oh, we did that because we couldn't um, use the banks. We couldn't get loans. Ah. We couldn't. Yeah. So remember, we have, with regard to our white counterparts, we are so far far behind in terms of understanding. And, and the thing is, when someone makes it ahead, they don't always open their mouth so wide to, to tell others what they've done. Mm-hmm. They just keep it moving. Selfish you know, cut and guttural. <laughs> and <laughs> and you see them with their things here. Like, How did you do that? Yeah? <laughs> yeah. But they sit with people, they learn, they ask questions. Mm. But as I said, some people just keep it to themselves. And I'm here to say, you know, 
as I said, I haven't yet made it to where I want to be yeah. because of life. And I had to start again. So I was 27 when I had my daughter. Um, I split with my daughter's um, dad uh, around four and a half years later. Um, and then literally I found myself in like a one room unit. So when you talk about um, not working, I decided not to work. But when I decide not to work, I study. Why? Because it's free. Yeah. My daughter's young enough yes. that it's free. But what I'm doing is upgrading myself in the meantime. So when she's of certain age, that means I can learn, earn a certain wage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, so you've got to balance the books that way. Yeah, definitely. You know? I mean, it's really challenging as well. Um, I came from a fa a, more of a family setting where there was two incomes. And I've realised that yeah. this country is not really set up for this single... No. Uh, number one single stream of income, mm -hmm. but also one income in a household. Like, I cover everything. Mm -hmm. And I've made some really poor choices. Like, for me, one of my poorest choices was a car. Yeah? Mm -hmm. I live in London. Yeah. Why am I driving a 2.5 litre ML? Yeah. I don't drive it now, by the way, because I can't yeah. afford it. Yeah. But petrol was how much? 100 a month. Yeah. But because I wanted to climb up in this big boy whip, mm -hmm. I don't know why. Yeah. And my partner at the time, he was like, yeah, that's what we need. You know, But it made you feel good. It made me feel good. But yeah. Really? we were struggling to make to those maintain. payments. Yeah. And we are still make those payments all now because, yeah. you know, we're still paying for things that we don't even have tangibly. Yeah. That was one of my biggest failures. So that's a massive strain on your expenses. Massive. Why can't yeah, I just drive a little yeah. car? Why do I yeah. feel like I need to do that? Yeah. My wedding, same thing. Hmm. Yeah. You would think that I'd had common sense. I've got a degree and a master's. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I want to put on this natural. big wedding. My wedding was nearly thirty thousand yeah. pounds, yeah. but I'm not even a homeowner. Yeah, what am I doing? Yeah, and that's the thing. Um, you know, I met someone recently, and he was all going down the road of weddings and all this stuff. I keeping it real. I said, "Listen, you can put a ring on my finger. I'm happy to go down to the registry <laughs> office." And five years later, when we actually save up for yeah. that wedding, yeah then I will spend the money. I ain't yeah. trying to do the... And it's funny because all my close friends would never, ever believe that I would ever do that. Dude, I'm just for love. Big, oh. No, no, give me love. Give me the man. Look, yeah? Emma, I come from love, no matter with it. <laughs> no, no, seriously. No the love things is. Give it to me. Give me the man. Give me that, that guy that's going to stand by me and save toward. Let's not get the loan and then the ting pop down in three years. Yeah. I'm not down.